Welcome to Zanesville Museum of Art's Minute with a Masterpiece. My fellow docents and I are featuring Mary Louise McLaughlin's Harbor with Boat. As a 21st century American woman, I enjoy many freedoms that are often taken for granted, and I have many bold pioneering women to thank. Mary Louise McLaughlin is one of these women. Being a woman and unmarried in Victorian times, Louise McLaughlin faced many challenges. She wanted to be a portrait artist, but it wasn't an acceptable profession for a woman, so she turned her focus to a more ladylike art form, china painting. And in 1877, she became the first American woman to publish a how-to book for women titled China Painting, a practical manual for the use of amateurs in the decoration of hard porcelain. McLaughlin was always trying to improve herself, and after seeing the display of French china painting using an underglaze process, Louise decided to learn the technique herself. It took her more than two years, but she finally mastered the technique and became the first American, man or woman, to do so. In 1880, she published her second book, Pottery Decoration Under the Glaze, describing her process. But it was years later that William Taylor, who took over ownership of Rickwood Pottery from Louise's rival, Maria Nichols Storer, tried but failed to discredit McLaughlin, saying she did not create the underglaze process in America. During the 1890s, Louise turned her focus back to painting on canvas and created many works of art. As a money-making venture, Louise partnered with the Cincinnati Art Supply Store and published her third book, Painting in Oil, a manual for use of students, which at the back had a list of supplies and kits that you could buy from the store. In 1898, Louise began making fine porcelain in her backyard workshop. Sadly, in 1906, she gave up ceramics completely and returned to another love, writing. Now her subject was history, including a memoir of Elizabeth Charlotte, the Duchess of Orleans and great-grandmother of Marie Antoinette. I'd like to thank Louise McLaughlin for paving the way for women. She faced many challenges, but overcame each one to flourish in a man's world. Please visit the Zanesville Museum of Art Facebook page and give us a like. And for more on it with a masterpiece, visit zanesvilleart.org.